Hey folks, just check it in. I'm out in Texas, head to California. And you know what that means. That ain't nowhere near planet Jersey, although California is its own planet, I will say that. I got advice from my old buddy, uh, James Blake, who's following us, and he's an experienced truck driver. I get a lot of good feedback from, uh, from my subscribers. I got some, uh, I don't know why you guys who are experienced are following me, because uh, you must be getting a kick out of this, because everything is new to me. I've been driving for a year, and I still, I had a situation yesterday where I was, my God, I had so much going wrong. I was trying to figure it out. I reached out to my old trainer and he wasn't available and James Blake responded back to me and I appreciate the input. He, um, basically I was, I was not overweight gross, but I was overweight on both tandems and I was considering sliding my, uh, sliding my, uh, fifth wheel, but I really don't want to do that if I haven't done it before, if I don't have to. But it, I'm going to practice it, though, just so I have it, because it, it can come in handy. So, I'm just, it's uh, about 6.45 a.m. It's still dark here in Texas, and uh, I am uh, just stopped off for the loves. I had to park way the hell out in a no-parking zone, of course. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm gonna get some coffee and go to the restroom and get back on. Um, but the uh, I'll show you a picture of my uh, my scales and I've been tracking it. I'm trying to, Mike, where do I start? So I was only over about 80 pounds on my drives, but I was over 180 pounds, I think, on my rear and. I moved it so that I'm for, that I'm within the 40 mark for the bridge law on my rear tandem, but I'm still over 180. And so you go to the uh, you go to the atlas, and on page eight on mine, it's a a 18, I think it is, and it'll tell you which state you're going to, where you can be. And for the most part, I'm okay. Uh, and most of the uh, even uh, Bobby Boucher, who's uh, from my class from night, uh, he's. He's a, he's a, this guy's really smart for as, as short as, he's been saying, he's been in the business as long as I have, but he, he knows the roads on the west. So I checked with him too, and uh, both of them, James and uh, Bobby, had agreed that I need to avoid this one particular uh, stop. Um, it's a, I think it's a, a port of entry stop or whatever, but I guess it's a really tough place in uh, California, and I just don't need any. So I'm going to go 150 miles out of my way. I'm going to go up off of 10. I'll go up to uh, Highway 95 to uh, Needles, over to uh, Bars Tow, and then down 15 into, uh, uh, I think it's called Merino Valley, California, or something like that, to do my delivery. I'm, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm going to try to do a 34 if I've got enough time, just so I can get a clean clock. But if I don't, I should be okay on my recaps. But I called him and I said, uh, well, okay, I don't know where to start, James. I said, uh, and he kept saying, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I said, well, that's easy for you to say you're experienced. I'm not experienced. I have to worry about it. And I was, I didn't know where to start. I mean, and he's telling me all this stuff. And finally, the, the long story short of it was just, uh, you guys, if you're driving, you gotta, you gotta tap into some people like, James Blake and Bobby Boucher and you got to have some drivers that have some experience to give you some of that knowledge you just don't you know you can't get it during your training you, your trainer can't give you everything you just can't it's impossible um, I got a ton of training from my trainer but um, even he even he will uh, will admit you just can't give it all to you it's, just, it, it's an ongoing process so um basically my james said i wouldn't move the fifth wheel i'd leave it where it's at because um you're fine you're not overgrowth so you'll be okay i've just never had 
a load that's been heavy on both my drive and my steer. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, and then to top that off, my stupid dash, uh, it doesn't really give me the correct reading on my gallons, how many gallons I have left in the truck. So, in the tank. So, <laughs> I, went, I went and fueled up thinking, well, I could, I could put another 75 gallons in. Um, and I, I scaled it just to see. And then I was, of course, way over. I was like, oh my Lord. And he said, that's all right, you're gonna burn it off. So just, uh, and fortunately going through Texas, uh, especially at night, so I like to drive at night, you typically don't get any uh, way stations. So that's just avoiding anything. Um, and right when, I, right when I weighed, I took off and I got a red light on my, uh, on my uh, what I thought I would be bypassed because the place was closed, it said it was closed. But I, I got a red light, so I had to pull in, and they uh, then I, when I got in there, it said, you know, just bypass it. But uh, I asked him, I go, why did I get a red light? I go, is it because I was over on my steer or my uh, my drive? He goes, yeah, probably. I'm like, oh shit. So <laughs> I don't know. It's just uh, it's just uh, a weird world of trucking. Now, I tell you, it's it's. It's fascinating because it is a ever-changing, problem-solving uh, daily by the minute sometimes on uh, what to do. Just just getting in this place here was, uh, when you go into Texas, you, you don't just merge off, you actually merge off into a bypass and then you, you can't really see to your right when you're coming into traffic, but apparently they're supposed to yield to, to you coming in and, it, and I witnessed it this time. This, this guy was coming up when I was coming off and he stopped. So I was like, okay, cool. Then I do have the right of way. Cause you can't see when you turn, you know, when you're turning right and then, then you have to turn left into the, into the traffic. You can't see where, you, where the traffic is to the right. It's, it's a blind merge. And uh, it's kind of scary when you don't do it very often. So, uh, Lots of activity going on here at the uh, the Love. The place has always got trucks in it, everywhere. So it's going well. Uh, see a lot of people out here with masks on. Uh, they, uh, everybody using their foot and their elbow to open and close doors. And it's just, uh, everybody's really trying to, uh, kind of a pretty skyline back there. Um, yeah, pretty much business as usual. Um, I can't say anything. I, I just think it's really strange. I mean, I don't know. It's just me, I'm sure, but I just don't. Kind of windy and cold. Um, I just don't see shutting down the whole economy for this coronavirus. There just seems to be something bigger going on. But who am I? I'm just very fortunate that with all my nervous energy, I'm able to keep driving. So that's what I'm. I'm happy and, and thankful about because it's, I haven't been on in a while because I've been, uh, I've been working with the, the other, my wife and my business partner, uh, trying to get things going with, uh, with the gym and, uh, trying to create some resources, uh, just to keep our staff paid and, uh, it seems to be working, but it's been, it's been stressful, no doubt. Um, shout out to, uh, oh gosh, um, Rick, um, he's in training right now with, with Prime and he's halfway through the funnel and, and he's having a tough time. Cause like I said, man, once you, uh, once you make the commitment, you get your CDL license, you got to go through the funnel and that funnel is, uh, basically the over the road training and it's, it's difficult because, uh, it's too long, you feel, and prime, you gotta do like 50,000 miles, which is like three months. And at night, you only have to do four weeks. So I definitely was, I definitely encourage still to this day, new people coming in and going tonight. Even, and I've got some people that subscribe to me that said, hey, thanks, I'm going tonight. I got a lot of people that say that, and I'm like, yeah, well, 
let your recruiter know that the guy that they fired is still still out there recruiting for you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I still night, you know, night's got its place uh, for me. It's, it was my first start, and um, I have a lot of good memories. So focus on that. So yeah, it's it's going well. I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shut down. Uh, actually, somewhere in about three or four hours, and. Uh, if I can't get some good video out here. But for right now, I've, I've been uh, one of my subscribers. Um, I've got a couple new ones. I, I didn't write them down, but if you subscribe to me, thank you so much for following me. It's it's uh, It's been interesting, and I've enjoyed sharing what's going on in my life with you. And um, it's funny, I, I'm now officially, you know, over a year into trucking, and, uh, you know, I felt like I learned a lot the first six months, and then I thought, I, you know, I knew a lot, but then every day, you just go, wow, I just, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, so you just keep learning, so even though I've been doing it for a year, I still don't feel like, uh, you know, I have uh, enough knowledge to say I'm a professional trucker yet, I'm a professional wannabe trucker. <laughs> I meet a lot of truckers out here on the road that are run circles around me but those are the guys that I want to I'll ask questions you know um, <laughs> I, <laughs> when I went uh, to weigh I've had I've had three weigh scales uh, or weigh tickets uh, at the cat scale so far and I'll probably have two more I'm trying to study to see it's amazing they say fuel cost okay so weight on a truck has a lot of variables. It's not just the product that's in the truck that's gonna, which is what I was used to. But you also gotta understand when your truck gets weighed, it's weighing all the fuel too. So your uh, your weight is gonna vary throughout the whole uh, trip to the fuel. So I'm trying to track to see how much my fuel weighs. So I'm working on just logging every time I fuel I go and I'm spending it I'm spending my own money on it because I know that the company's not gonna reimburse me for four cat scales but they reimburse me for one and uh, so they say that your weight that that fuel one gallon of fuel is uh, seven or eight pounds um, but the way I'm tracking it's like four pounds so I gotta I gotta keep a, a, a further log so I can see uh, the other thing too is, is if you do move your fifth wheel you need to know by moving it one click I'll call it um, you got to know how much how much that moves it is it 500 pounds some trucks are 100 pounds some are 250 I, so that's another reason I didn't want to move it and I wasn't even sure whether to move it forward or backwards <laughs> I didn't move it I just left it alone so uh, I'll show you my, my scales. It's uh, I've got notes in it. I'm tracking all kinds of stuff. So quite the journey. So I just wanted to check in. We'll talk to you guys. Soon.